Hey guys, welcome to another Swift tutorial. Today we're going to talk about local notifications and how to use the user notifications framework. So let's get into it. So first we're going to go into the app delegate. The first thing we're going to want to do is import the user notifications framework. After that, we're going to want to get access to the latest UN user notification center. And then the current instance of it. After that, we're going to want to set the options to query the user to give us access to. In this case, we want to ask the user to give us access to play sounds and an alert. After that, we're going to ask the center to request authorization with the current options we defined earlier and then check if an error occurred. If not, we are good to go. Also, we have to make sure to set the current delegate of the center to the app. If not, it will not run. All right. Now that we've taken care of getting access, oh, it gave us this issue because we need to make sure to tell that the app delegate conforms to the UN User Notification Center delegate. There we go. Now that we've taken care of asking the user for permission, we're going to go ahead and implement getting a specific notification. So again, we're going to need to import the user notifications framework. After that, we're going to get a access to the current center again. The current version of it. All right. So local notifications are made up of two parts. The content and the trigger. The content takes care of the body of the notification, title, text, sound, etc. And the trigger takes care of when you want the notification to trigger, whether that be a local notification, a specific date, or if you want it to repeat. In this case, we're going to be using a UN calendar notification trigger. So I'm going to first go ahead and set up the content using the UN notification content class. After that, in this context, let's just pretend we're Jurassic Park, Park getting some lunch. Subtitle equals grab lunch and the content dot body equals come to the main lobby for lunch. And just to demonstrate the ability to modify the sound, I'm going to also set the default sound. To after iOS 12, there is grouped notifications and to make sure all notifications from your app goes into the correct group, you're going to want to set the content thread identifier. My bad, a UN mutable notification content. All right, now that we have our content set up, we're going to want to set the, the date of when we want the notification to trigger. And we are going to go in this case for a date 10 seconds from now. Now that we have, to, we have the date, we need to get the date components. This is because the UN notification trigger class requires date components. So we do that from the current cal calendar, date components. And in this case, we're going to specify all components, which is going to be dot year, month, day, hour, 
minute and seconds from our date. Now we have now that we have our date, we can set the trigger. In this case, UN calendar notification trigger. And it requires the date components that we already set up. And in this case, I do not want the notification to trigger. Now that we have both the content and the trigger, we can combine that into a request. So we'll use this request to tell the notification center what notification we want to deploy. So I'm going to create the request. Right over here. And then I'm going to give it an identifier. Each notification needs a unique identifier. In this case, a simple one, content. And then I'm going to also give it the trigger we defined. Now that we have the request, we need to dispatch it using the center. Add, we send the request. Again, we make sure there's no error. There we go. Now that we have this set up, we can test our app to see if the notifications fire. It should ask his permission. There we go. I'm going to lock it so we can demonstrate it pretty easily. And boom, it pops up. So we're good to go. So the reason I locked it is because unless you specifically state, your notification is not going to come up in the foreground. So to do that, you want to go back into your app delegate and we're going to want to up make sure we implement the will present function that's part of the user notification center. There we go. Once we have that, we have the completion handler, handler and we make sure we can accept alerts badges and sound. So let's try that again and this time staying in the app. Perfect. So now it works both in the background and the foreground. I'll add new videos showing how to make dynamic notifications and how to implement the new things added in iOS 12 for group notifications. Thank you and see you next time.